Hello everybody, how's it going? It's me, your narrator. And today we're gonna be playing the Stanley Parable. Apparently people like the narrator of this game, so me being a semi one as well, I'm going to do it. We're gonna play this game and see how fun it is. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Oh. Employee number 427's job was simple. All right. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk. Nice. Him what buttons to push, how cool. long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. Let's see. And although others might have considered it soul ending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in. Huh. Though he had been made exactly for this job, and Stanley was happy. Oh. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. What happened? Something that would forever change Stanley. All right. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Dear God! No one had showed up to give him instructions, call oh. a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. It could say Shot that this is a Stanley's solid. parable. Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Oh, I'm controlling Stanley now. All right, here we go. Welcome back to the Stanley parable. We are in Stanley's office, 427. Okay. I can't touch anything, so... But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never Shit. been trained for that. That's true. Oh, this couldn't go any way except badly. <laughs> the thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is mm. to wait. Nothing will hurt me. You're Nothing right. Nothing will break me. In here, I can be happy forever. I will be <coughs> happy. Stanley okay. waited. Hours passed. Mm. Then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Yeah. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Awesome. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it so comes. Is this whole game gonna be like me being interrupted as a narrator? I'm not used to having another narrator narrate over my narration. It's very peculiar. Stanley started to look around the office, feeling very confused and desperate. He took a couple steps forward and realized there's no one here. But all Stan of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. You know what? What if Stanley decided to do his own thing? Decided to travel around no the office? No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Uh, I'm gonna keep looking. <laughs> oh, hold on, I gotta save power in the office. Can't, can't have, a uh, who, who farted? <laughs> Not Stanley, that's for sure. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. Damn it. Did it advance the story in any way? Well, maybe I'm making my own story. All right, what about this? What's in here? Ooh. Got to turn off all these power, all the, all the power to the computers. Make sure... Awaiting input. Well, I keep telling Janice that she really needs to clean up this office. Like, look how empty everything is. There's papers on the ground. God damn it. Username access. What's that say? Hold on. Nope, too far away. Still can't <laughs> st still can't read it. Nothing in here. All right, all right. Man, I'm waiting for like a spooky, spooky guy to like jump out. But everyone's been telling me this is a fun game. So I need to narrate. It's super fun when I get to be the one. Look at all of the math. It's a bad drawing of something I can't see. When Stanley came oh. to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I'm sorry, huh? In, into the door on the left. This is my story. Do what I want. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. 
Y yes, that that is exactly why I I did that. Or I'm just trying to get to my computer to delete all the porn. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all. Just it was. to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Ah. Uh. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Wow, I'm really good at drinking all this in. Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Be really worth it. They're, they're nice paintings. F*** you. They're nice. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll keep going. To get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Should we? I know what this game is doing. I know what this game is doing. It wants me. It's doing reverse psychology. All right. It wants me to not take this road because it's telling me to go this way. So it's forcing me in my brain to go, well, I want to be disobedient. I want to see what this way is. But that is the correct way. But maybe that might have a secret. Oh, my God. This is like super, like quadruple reverse psychology right now. I am not. Oh, OK. All right. Listen, I'm going to go this way. Stanley was so bad at following directions. It's incredible. He wasn't fired years ago. I'm sorry. I'm a great employee. That's why I'm the only one left. Don't badmouth me. What are these plans? Building plans. I love building plans. Schematics. Learning, learning, learning. Turning the frogs gay. <laughs> Whoa. Do not jump from the cargo lift while it is in motion will cause death. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift. $5,000 for jumping off it. Holy sh- I, I kind of- Oh, no. I want to jump. I want to jump off really bad. Shit. All right. All right. Hold on. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Yeah. I'm not your enemy. Really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. You? Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. There's a lady? Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. Kay. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Uh, listen, if it's, if it's a big-titted goth GF, I'll do it for her. Only her. Dude, we're cruising right now. I am I'm looking for my big titty goth mommy GF. I'm I'm going to go find her at Starbucks and ask for a latte with breast milk. I mean breast milk breast milk breast milk <sighs> Oat milk. There we go. Oh That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another then pick up the phone. Okay. I'll do it. Oh, what? Stanley, is that you? What? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. F*** you. Sorry, but you're in my story now. That's bullshit. You can't just na- Okay, how come your narrating powers are more powerful than mine? I'm really starting to get a little pissed off. I'm looking around, trying to see if I can escape. But can I? This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. What? What do you mean, death? Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Press eight? Nah. No. Oh. No. F*** you. Nope, not gonna do it. No, nope. I'll sit here all day. I will sit here all day day i will not be your i will not be your lab rat monkey anymore i refuse
Can you please, like, nothing, no change? Seriously. Oh my god. All right, I'm gonna go. Back. I'm, I'm gonna go make some dinner. I'll be right back. I, I I couldn't. I was gonna make food, but I got lazy. Still nothing. Okay. Uh. 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 What? It still hasn't moved. I fell asleep at my desk. It is, guys. It is ten thirty at night. I started playing this game at nine. What the heck, Marcus? I'm so sorry. All right. It, it, it appears that this game is not going to allow us to progress unless we do something. <sighs> All right, here we go. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. You dick. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. Oh, I hate you so much. I hate you so much. Let me out of here. Let me out. But in his mind, ah, in his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. You are a dick! And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. Yeah. The thought excited him terribly. Right? Spend time with the... To spend time with the boys? D yeah, I'll spend time with the boys. Hell yeah, I love I love the boys. So, he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At okay. last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. Exactly. The thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Yes. To repair, prepare dinner? Shit. As he wandered through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Uh -huh. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. Oh, you dick! I am not a baby. Tell your kids a story, I have kids. Where, the, where are my kids? Where have you taken them, Susan? It was such a wonderful fantasy, and so in his head, he relived it again, and then again, and mm. again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Yeah. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Tell your wife you love her. But there is no answer. How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. Oh no, is it? Has it all just been in my head? It's all- I've just been in my f***ing office this whole time? Oh, I hate this. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He I won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Do not do it? You see, can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see oh what I see? Oh How can I make him look at himself? With a mirror. Okay, hold on, wait. Maybe if I don't, I don't. He's using reverse psychology again. Cause he's saying he wants to help me, but at the same time, he's wanting me to push a button. This game, this game is a mind trip. <laughs> This is so ridiculous. Let me out. I'm not, I'm not, I, I just want to leave. 
leave. Come on, come on, come on. There's gotta be something in here I can, I can escape. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. Mm -hmm. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. Okay. I'm compelled to. I must. Okay. Perhaps. Well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. What? Did I just die? What? 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 All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, all right. New plan, everyone, new plan. Stanley is going to do everything in his power to do everything opposite of what the narrator wants. I am my own narrator. I control my own destiny, just as you control yours. I'm gonna do everything in my power to not listen to this narrator. And I will be my own. I feel like this will be a good plan. A very good plan. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, yep. he entered the door on his left. F you! This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yeah, yeah, look how beautiful this room wow. is. Yes, this room. What a beautiful room. Hell what a yeah. gorgeous, gorgeous room. It's so good. Thank it's goodness so Stanley had taken this detour on his way to the meeting room. Life without but eager to get back to business, Stanley took yep. the first open door on his left. Hey, no, I'm going where I want to go, baby. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Uh, five years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Wait, it said jump. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in Should someone I jump else is off? difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you yes. all this Yes, I need time. to jump. I need to jump off. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Yes! Why? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you to Bullshit. show you something beautiful. No. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. No, I already did. And I got sent back to the beginning after I died. No thanks. I do what I want. I do what I want. I'm running. I'm getting I'm getting the hell out of here. Ain't no freaking way. Freach Ooh. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland, you wake up in your bed, and you believe whatever you want to believe. If you take the blue pill, I will show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Stanley walked through the red door. How about... No. Stanley walked through the blue door. Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Okay, okay. Stanley walked through the red door. Stanley decided to go through a sewer. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. How about... How about no? All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't yeah. let me stop you. All right, cool. I want to know. You see, there's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. What? Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Yes. Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because no. I did. Uh -oh. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Yeah. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. I'm sorry. I'll tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. Okay. There we go. Oh. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Silly light. Stanley, take it for a spin. Oh, no. No. I know if I pick it. I know. If... 
<laughs> I know if I pick it, then I'm gonna have to start all over again. But it's killing me. It's like, uh, oh no, I, I wanna know what's in there so bad. <laughs> I wanna know what's in there so bad. All right, all right, Stanley, you've done control. This is about willpower. <sighs> Don't think about it. Shit. Shit! Oh, you dick. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Oh, come on, dude. No way. I'm gonna- I'm gonna fuck with him. Can I- can I just leave? I can't. I can't just leave. Can I go back out? I really do- I really do need to give it. You know what? I'm gonna make him confused. It was neither good nor bad. Oh, of course. A three. Really. Maybe next time we can get you to form an actual opinion, you know? Any level of critical thinking or engagement with your surroundings? Does that sound good? Think we can do that? Yes? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wonderful. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Okay. F***ing huh? Worldwide leaderboard? There's a, there's a leaderboard? Two seconds! I don't know if that's real. I don't know if that's real or not. This is you. Oh, you dick. You asshole. So we, we need to go this way. We need to go this way. Hell yeah. Now. Would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. Three. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. Okay. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. Sure. What is happening? In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right. And if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. Okay. But of course, the message of the game only okay. becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. You heartless bastard. <laughs> Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Spite you. the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? What? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Wait, what? Shut the well, f Stanley, up. Is this any better? At last, the one thing you've always desired. A game I had absolutely nothing to do with. But is it enough? Tell me that, Stanley. <laughs> Will it ever be enough? <laughs> well, I'll say this. I'm done making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Okay. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. Yeah? What is happening? We'll go here, no, here, and then... Small house, homie. Let's see, what does it need? I, uh, yes, of course, and just to finish it all off, Yes, it's complete. I made this, Stanley. Look at it. Gaze upon my work of art. It's and beautiful. And feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. Ah, but you've only seen it from the outside. Yeah. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, True. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. But what if I didn't? <laughs> Hear me out. What if I didn't? <laughs> I cannot believe they actually put f They got Minecraft to sign off on this. Holy shit, this is awesome. I love this so much, dude. All right, um, let's go in the house. Isn't it grand? Isn't it perfect? 
It could only be better if... Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Diamond everything. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. Oh, okay. Perfect. Diamond everything. I love that idea. All right, welcome back to Narrator Goes uh, Minecraft. Oh, my. It looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? No, not really. I have not brought a light. Are there creepers and everything? No, this is far more open-ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something oh. that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. One out of five. One out of Even five. The diamonds couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. New game? What What do you mean, new game? Shut the f*** <laughs> up. Yes! I don't even know what this game is, but I love Portal? it. Portal? You, trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. All right. <laughs> All right, here we go. God damn, that's gonna be in my head all f***ing day now. Great. Ooh, it's a puzzle. Mm -hmm. Critical thinking, Stanley. You're a forte. Right? God, I'm so good. Genius. Thank you. I'm so smart. Actually, you know what? I think that's plenty. I really don't care much to see you stumble through any more of these games, and I highly doubt you're any wiser for the experience. Which is why, rather than continue to waste- What? Um, filing cabinets? Can I go in here? Where- Oh shit, where do I go? I just jumped off the map. I- I'm in the back rooms! Oh, I hate this. Oh, this is not fun for me. It's dark. I need a flashlight. Flashlight, please. Flashlight. I'm in the back rooms. I hate this so much. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. <laughs> what is happening? Oh my god, it's so it's so dark. I can't f***ing see anything. I can barely see anything right now. Is it like a flashlight or nothing? Okay. All right, I need to find a way to get the hell out of here. This is not good. I, I, I'm looking around and trying to figure out what is going on. I'm very- <gasps> Light! Wait. Yes. All right, let's go towards the light. Damn. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Get out of the back rooms. 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 We need to get the hell out of- No. No. Do not put me back in that fucking cubicle, I swear to god. Stanley, you are the master of your own universe. Go ahead. <sighs> what in the... What in the hell? Security cameras? What the hell am I even supposed to be doing? I am so lost. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice, and if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. Uh -huh. That's who I am. Okay. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. What? I can wait. What do you mean? Hello? Oh, we're loading again. Okay. Shut up! What? I did every- oh, I did everything the opposite! I did it all! Like, it's not- <sighs> How many spider webs does this game have? Honestly, this game is- It's super mind-boggling. Wait, this is a new area. This is a new- Place? What? Is this is what? If is this is what? Is it? No. No. This is what it's like to be on acid. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, I have not done the door on my left yet. I'm gonna do it. Yet there was not a single person here either. Okay. Feeling a wave of disbelief, 
Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Right, okay, okay. To do, synergize core value ex uh, expenditures, uh, shift global market pay pa par paradigm, monetize free to play. <laughs> monetize free to play, that's hilarious. Everyone used ne you most of all. Oh, I'm unique, thank you. I really appreciate it. And now we're gonna go to my boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. All right, I'll, I can do that. I wanna see what my boss lo How come my boss gets the cool office? This is bullshit. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What I'm... dark secret was being held from him? Right? What, what is he happening? What could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, four, five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Oh, God damn it! I need to know the truth. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct <gasps> code by sheer luck. Whoa. Amazing. It's he stepped a into the newly opened passageway. Oh. Oh, uh, you're leading me into a trap. If that door closes behind me, I'm f No, we're not. All right, all right. The terrible truth. <gasps> a button? All right, all right. It looks like my boss may be a supervillain. Let's go! I can't wait to find out the terrible truth. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, mm. as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Yeah. What's been going on, Mr. Boss Man? Why do you have so many pipes down here? Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Now I know what you're thinking. Obvious, I should choose escape and get the hell out of here. And the mind control facility will probably give me the terrible truth. It'll give me the answer. But then it'll probably stick me right back in the cubicle again. I can escape. I can get out of here. But last time I tried that, it didn't work out. Oh, and they put fog in it to make it more mysterious. Oh, you suck. I'm going for it. I'm doing it. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What, what horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Is this The Incredibles? Is this a scene from The Incredibles? That's just a bunch of numbers. Wait, is that binary code? I don't know. I, I don't speak binary code. All right, this is all. This is literally just the scene from The Incredibles. <laughs> now the monitors jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. What? The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. What the f***? And then there's people just writing about their lives? Employee observation protocol. No thank you. All right. It's starting to get a little too deep for me. I'm, uh... Not good. We need to- we need to go. We need to get the hell out of here. This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Wait. It said somebody was fired. Who was fired? 104. 104 was fired. Wait, where am I? 427. That's my office. Oh, no. Nope. I'm okay. I'm getting the hell out of here. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. I couldn't. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Unfathomable. Was it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life 
utterly blind to the world? Oh, this is not good. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Yep. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. You're right. Or he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Or I push the big red button. No, 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 I can't. I can't. All right, hold on. Mind control idle awaiting input? Wait, what if I flip the machine on the people that have been trying to control me? What if I can become the real narrator? I can make my own stories. Maybe I can control the world. We're gonna find out. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. <laughs> But what if I didn't? I live a very good life right now. Maybe I don't need to let other people have free will. What if I alone were my own boss? Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? I did. After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Yep. Control? Yes. Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to oh. throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. What? In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. What? How long until detonation then? Hmm, let's say, um, two minutes. Two minutes? Now, now, this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in Shit. mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until Shit. the bomb okay, hold on. goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you. Shit, about all right. Me, where we're going. What all this means. Shut up. I barely know where to start. Oh my god, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. You'd like to know where your co-workers are? Yeah. A moment of solace before you're obliterated? Shit. All right, I'm in a good mood. All right. I'll die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. What happened? I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. What? I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. Wait. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. Shit. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. Oh my god, stop. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. hell with it? I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stan. Time doesn't grow on me. Shit, shit, shit. Oh dear me, what's the matter, You have three attempts remaining? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Incorrect? Or did you just assume oh, you saw shit. that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. Shit, 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 shit. Buttons. No, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button. Or this door. Everything, anything. Incorrect. What do you mean? Me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One soul? Oh, shit. Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley, 
You're in for quite a oh, disappointment. Shit. But here's a spoiler for you. Wait, hold on. That Where's one? That isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. Shit, shit, shit. See you made humble. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. Shit, 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 shit. Come on, come on, come on. But I'm going to destroy it first. Goodbye, employee. What? Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. Shit, shit, shit. cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? Oh, another choice. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we No, 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 Alright, so we found out the truth. He is the dick. The narrator is the dick of the story. I wanna know what else- I wanna know what other, like, possibilities there are. But we'll have to find out next time. If you liked watching me play the Stanley Parable game and wanna know what other paths and secret happens, and like the video, and I'll continue to play this game of twists, turns, and exploratory danger. If you made it to the end of the video, you're amazing and no one can take that away from you. You are my favorite. And have a wonderful day. Goodbye, everyone.